Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, first of all, I would like to say a huge thank you for inviting me to this outstanding event. A special thanks uh, goes to my three colleagues, Nicolas Sell, Dr. Nicolas Sell, now, uh, Sell, now affiliated with the uh, University of Stirling. The second thank you goes to Bashir Zuji, who invited me to come to deliver a presentation on advanced technology, technologies in sport. And the third thank you goes to my colleague, Director of Business Development uh, with uh, uh, STATES, one of the global leaders in delivering technology for sports events. Let me introduce myself in a few words. I'm an, uh, an assistant professor uh, working uh, with, uh, at the Alpha University in Belgrade. Uh, I have two pets uh, in delivering my teaching, let's say like that. Uh, I, I work at the Faculty of Finance, Banking and Audit. So I'm a Doctor of Sciences in Economics and also Faculty of Information Technology and Faculty of Management in Sport, delivering some subjects related to management marketing of sports events and similar economic analysis. And for this occasion, I decided to write something about, in fact, to deliver a presentation on advanced technologies in sport, next generation services, as initiated by uh, one of the papers I published with Emerald London, uh, in Simon Chadwick's journal, Sport, Business and Management and International Journal. So let's make a start. This will take around 20 minutes, so I will try to be very, very punctual. Please do start. Outline of the presentation. You can see there are four points. We will start with uh, the introduction, background, framework. Then uh, I will include uh, Prozone education and so, as something very, very important for statistics. And then we will follow with some reports, status statistical reports, definitions, playing style and tires from 6 to 0. And then I will end with a conclusion. So let's make a start now. Can you hear me well, I think? So, uh, literature review. I decided to use several papers, some mine, some of the famous professors. Michel Deborde, one of my members of the board, the most favorite one, I would like to say, who introduced me to the French market. And this is the first reference, highly recommended for students, also for colleagues, football event management, one chapter in the handbook, handbook of football association management, uh, produced by UEFA education program in Neon, Switzerland. The second three, the, the following three, sorry, are produced and created, written by me. So the second one is in uh, Sport Business and Management, an international journal. The second one, uh, in one of the international conferences in Belgrade, held in Belgrade, in fact, in a smaller city near Belgrade. And uh, the third one, it was delivered at, on the occasion of the International Congress on Sport Management of the IC School of Management in Paris, France, in 2013. Then you will see one of the great books uh, in multimedia, problematics, let's say like that, uh, Introduction to Multimedia Communication, John Wiley and Sons, and one of my colleagues and, and, and uh, co-authors, Dragorad Milovanovic, is listed as the third author. So very nice colleague and, and very we, we cooperate on a daily basis. So you can see some things here, Sports Video Group Europe, Football Production, Industry Enhancements and SVU Summit. Summits, uh, some reports, I, I created uh, some ideas using from, uh, from online material. And also the, one of the most important references is my personal contact and communication with the Director of Business Development uh, at STATS at start test, in fact, who gave me the major points how to make a useful presentation for students. 
and for all of you just to, to really uh, to base this presentation on a real data. Of course, I have signed a kind of non-disclosure agreement to be sure, but they have my word. So let's make a start now, please. So introduction, uh, technology in the field of sports events functions for the purposes of communication, online interaction, events broadcast, results play, and adapted software applications. You can see the two references listed here from the abstract. Events broadcast and computer analysis of sports, pro sports video, in fact, pros on education system of of this year, 2016, are important research topics with great potential commercial value. Also, my two references are listed from the abstract. So increased use of technology in sport is due to growing professionalization of sports organizations and clubs, while the importance of broadcasting, TV, in fact, has improved monitoring and enabled virtual presentation of players' performance. Television production requires new digital technologies and services adapted for various applications. Sports video is structured and uh, as a result of and in compliance with uh, the competition rules and regulations of a specific sport. If we talk about football, there are so-called the rules of the game, so we cannot breach the rules. Please. So it is evident that the next generation digital services or NGS next generation services have found many applications in sport content analysis and TV broadcasting of competitive sports. The speed and quality of advancement in digital technology has led many experts to urge for its implementation in football in view of its status of the preeminent global sport. As digital technology revolutionizes the way people watch sport, uh, organizations such as UEFA, which earn money by selling broadcasting rights, must harness the latest NGS if they are to benefit financially. Framework. Uh, the presentation, this concrete, uh, specifically, sorry, presentation focuses on the next generation services as the most complex operational and technological challenge for UEFA and its partners. As of 2015 16 UEFA Champions League season, the first of a new three year ride cycle, UEFA is broadening the range of broadcast and digital services offered to rights-holding rights broadcasters. One of, and maybe the, the major one, is Delta 3. NGS challenge runs right across. Uh, there are five fields of application. Digital services, broadcast services, audio watermarking, the workflow, and content delivery. NGS should, fac should facilitate broadcast partners to access better the content produced on site, on venue. Such offering will include enhanced graphics, data, and statistics. You can see that from the reference status. So when my friend Winner told me that the NGS will be provided together with specific service provi providers, that means that UEFA and its partners will be facing new challenges in coordinating, processing and distributing the additional content. The second part of the presentation is uh, uh, dedicated to monitoring technology and tracking technology for players and teams. So the Prozone system is one of the most important, if we talk about this. So the Prozone monitoring tracking technology is a semi-automatic analysis of sports video in combination with additional manual processing. As a set of fixed networks synchronized cameras that cover the field are installed uh, at the football stadium, processing results are so there are two results, the statistics of the ball possession and maps and adding of the path of individual players. Prozon covers a number of key areas within performance analysis that enhance the way that coaches, analysts and fans see sport. 
So the education pathway is split into three key subject areas, performance and match analysis, both professional and notational. You will see the graphics on the second slide. Uh, sports analytics offers an insight to elite teams and athlete, athlete monitoring. And within each key subject areas are three level of progression, level one, two, and level three. So here is the graphics for more the graph for better understanding. You can see two lines, performance and match analysis, two tracks, in fact, professional, notational, level one for both, introduction to performance analysis and to performance analysis and uh, notational analysis. Then level two, trends and physical analysis, trends and benchmarking in notational analysis. I'm reading like this, data and, uh, and rec uh, recruitment, and then in comparison with this live analysis, and you have sports analytics and athlete monitoring and uh, all uh, spread into three levels. So for each course, education partners are fully supported and trained to have all knowledge and skills uh, needed to give students a valuable and worthwhile education product. So to achieve this, Prozon provides partners with the following resources. Uh, delivery materials, slides, um, presentation notes, etc. Software and relevant support. Staff training, topic reading. The third part of the presentation is dedicated to reports. Uh, specific, rep uh, specific reports which are produced with the company. So uh, we have stats, stats, statistical reports. The statistical report employs pros on sports playing styles methodology to analyze an EU club. I, talk, I, I mentioned that uh, the data are hidden. So an EU club in the following areas. The club was analyzed uh, from the Series A. So it's an Italian club. So uh, under one EU club style of play, the second, how shots and goals are created. The third, EU club opposition style of play. Fourth one, how shots and goals were conceded. Then EU club player assessment. So each of the above areas are split into three into uh, sub-reports of playing styles. There are two examples, home versus away and winning versus, versus losing. So in order to produce the report, all of the EU clubs' games in the 2014-15 season has been analyzed to identify key trends and tactical behaviors. So there are some definitions I will not read. You can read as well as uh, yourself. So there are direct play, counter-attack, high press, crossing, sustained threat, build-up, maintenance, fast tempo, offensiveness, possession, expected goals, expected assists. I decided to select uh, the first example, uh, home versus uh, away. In fact, the playing style where, uh, where we are playing home versus away. So you can see here uh, on the X uh, line, uh, we can see here these are criteriums. There are 10 criteriums or variables. Direct play, counter-attack, maintenance, build-up play, sustained threat fast tempo, crossing, high press, offensiveness, possession. And you can see, it is obvious, that the team always play better, uh, or play, plays better when, when playing at home. You can see the green, 80% versus 60% when playing away. So, please do follow. The, three, the second two slides illustrates the same. The same situation when playing style is uh, uh, ho at home, but the winning versus losing. It's a combination of the first one and the second one, win uh, winning versus losing. And please do follow. And playing style, just the parameter, I decided to choose influence on shots uh, in, this, in the position when we're playing home versus away. So you can now have a better picture how statistics works. In fact, please follow. We have six tire definitions. Uh, the, uh, the tire six is the most uh, complicated one, let's say complicated, most uh, 
and most expensive one, uh, covering 35 uh, variables. I can mention just a few team scores, player goal scores, shot on goal, and in a, a descending mode, if we go directly to the tier one, you can see that uh, they start with 35, then 20, 18, 8, 4, 1, and, and ends with the 1. So also tier zero is not so basic, but uh, dedicated to smaller leagues and uh, let's say less important clubs, Malaysian clubs or something like that. So as a conclusion, I can mention that NGS, NGS are most likely to continue to evolve. The, and this is just an example how advanced technologies are implemented in sport and in our daily lives. So the opportunities have improved enormously and the data available can ensure that sports events experiences are extending their potential. The relevant digital technologies should be flexible and scalable to be adapted over time. Sports institutions should keep an open mind regarding future requirements to make best of new advancements in NGS technologies for football events. The advancement in NGS has led many experts to urge for its implementation in football in, in view of its status of the preeminent global sport. Thank you for your attention and for inviting me here again. Thank you.